Hi, welcome to IvanMeisner.com. Today's topic is, what do you want to be when you grow up? Okay, so I'm guessing most of you already know what you want to be when you grow up because you're in business and you're coming to a business blog. But we have this conversation with young people all the time. If you have children, at some point you're going to have this conversation with them. When they're really young, it's kind of a fun conversation. But as they get a little older, you want to ask that question to have them thinking about it. And with my kids, um, I did the same thing that I did with them when they were little itty bitty kids. They were really young and they couldn't make a decision about what they wanted to do. And uh, we would go to the ice cream shop. We'd go to Baskin Robbins and uh, uh, or a frozen yogurt place. And um, I'd have all three of them there. And we'd say, you know, I'd say, well, what do you, what do you want to eat? And they were like, I, I don't know. There's so much. I don't know. I don't know what to pick. And they couldn't make a decision. And so I, I'd stand there and I'd say, okay, well, here's how you figure out what you want. What you do is you stick your tongue out and wave it around in the air. And it'll come to you just like that. They're like, Really, Dad? <laughs> That's what you want us to do? Yeah, yeah, give it a try. Just stick your tongue out, wave it around, and you'll figure out what you want. And sure enough, we're standing there, people are all around, the people behind the counter, and there's three kids and an older guy. Uh, we're all sticking our tongue out, waving it around, and one at a time, they said, you know what, I think I'd like some cookie dough, or I'd like a chocolate mint, or a strawberry, and everybody made a decision on what they wanted to do. Sometimes you need to do the same thing when you're talking about what do you want to be when you grow up. Because the truth is we live in a Baskin Robbins world. There are so many choices that we have, so many incredible choices that we have. It's confusing for young people. And it's really important that they follow their passion and that they do what they're excited about. Because if you do what you love, you'll love what you do. You have to do what you love. And as much as I would have loved to have had one of them come into my business, the truth is you want your kids to be happy and you want them to, to go into a field that they want to be in. And so applying pressure on going one direction or another in the long run doesn't serve anyone well. It's really about what are you passionate about? And my children, I think, are pursuing their passions. One is uh, an artist, and to make uh, to make ends meet, she's gone into real estate, and she's doing really well. Uh, and the art, you can see one of her pieces of art right there. That's uh, uh, Ashley's art, and uh, she loves to do that, and is a professional artist uh, selling art. Uh, my middle child, uh, Cassie, is about to finish college. Yes, about to finish college, and she's uh, doing graphic design. She spent her first two years not knowing what she wanted to do. And I said to her, stick your tongue out, wave it around. What do you feel like? And she couldn't come with an answer. And I was like, it's okay. Just go to school. It will come to you. And it did. And she's now about to get a bachelor's degree in graphic design. And my son is in IT, uh, technology, and he's really good at what he does. I'm very proud of him. I'm proud of all three of my kids and where they're at. Uh, he wants to be a game programmer and is still um, uh, in game programming anyway and still pursuing that. But uh, I'm really proud of the fact that they've all pursued the things that they're most interested in and haven't taken peer pressure from others or uh, hopefully haven't gotten pressure from me. If you do what you love, you'll love what you do. I think that's so important and it's an important message for us as business people if we want to have a, a balanced life, a harmony as I call it in life. Uh, we want our children to be happy and this is a great strategy I think to use with kids especially when they're young. So if I happen to be out and uh, I see people out at ice cream shops uh, sticking their tongue out, waving it around, I'm going to know it came from this blog. Let me leave you with one uh, other point or question for you, actually. What have you done when you're talking to kids about what are you going to be when you grow up? Share with me here something that you've done that you think uh, has been helpful in the process. Hey, this is Ivan Meisner with IvanMeisner.com. Thanks for watching.